Dear students, Welcome to the first unit of Software Engineering. In this introductory unit, we will learn the basic concepts related with software. We will also study software components, types and characteristics. Then we will talk about the role of the software and why we need software. Finally, we will introduce the basic concepts of Software Engineering. After completing this unit, you should be able to understand what is software, to explain the role of software, to identify different characteristics of software, to understand why we need software, and to explain what is software engineering. Dear student, let us begin with explaining what software basically is. One may describe software as any program that runs on the computer. But this is not a good description of software. There can be a computer program that does not perform any useful function for either user or the system. Such piece of code cannot be called software. So let us refine our description and say computer program that provides desired functionality and performance. From user perspective, this is a good definition, but from technical point of view, it is incomplete, as it does not talk about the technical components of the software. According to Roger Pressman, software has three essential components. Number one, instructions that mean computer programs that, when executed, provide desired functions and performance. Number two, data structures that enable the program to adequately manipulate information and number three documents that describe the operation and use of the program the first part of the definition states that software must provide desired functionality and performance data structures are an essential component of every computer software they maintain the data in such form which a program can easily access and process. Program logic and design depends on what type of data structures are being used. Third part of the definition is documents. User manuals are required to understand how software works. Desire manuals are required to understand the internal working of the software. Design manuals are also essential for maintenance purposes. If something needs to be changed into the software after delivery, it would be extremely difficult to do so without design manuals. It would be difficult to locate where the source code needs to be changed and how those changes would affect the performance of the overall system. Dear students, there can be many ways to categorize the software into different types. On the basis of functional domain, software categorization could be as follows. Number 1. System software. Number 2. Real-time software. Number 3. Business software. Number 4. Scientific and engineering software. Number 5. Embedded software. Number 6. Personal computer software. And number seven is the web-based software. Let us now briefly explain each type of the software starting from system software. System software. System software is characterized with heavy interaction with the hardware, heavy usage of the multiple users, concurrent operations that require scheduling, resource sharing, sophisticated process management, complex data structures, and multiple external interfaces. System software provides simple interface to the other applications so that they are safe from the complexity of managing the hardware. Through the interface of system software, other applications can control the hardware. Operating system windows is system software. It provides interface, for instance, to the MS Word program. You can input data to MS Word through keyboard and mouse. 
The process of input is managed by the Windows. MS Word gets the data in from Windows module of keyboard input. Similarly, things you see on the monitor of the computer are not managed by MS Word. The data which is to be displayed on the monitor screen is formatted and given to display on the monitor module of the Windows. Examples of system software are operating system, device drivers, compiler and file management utilities etc. The second type of software is real-time software. Definition of real-time software is Software which monitors, analyzes, and controls the real-time events. There are three essential components of real-time software. These are to input data, to analyze the data, and to take the appropriate action. Radar is used to monitor the airspace. The function of a radar are to detect the flying object, determine their size, shape, location, speed, and direction. All these functions of radar are performed in real time. The software which operates the radar is an example of real-time software. Other examples of real-time systems are air traffic control system, flood control system, and sonar, etc. The third type of software is business software. Software use is most prevalent in this application domain. Discrete system, for example, payroll system, inventory management system, sales analysis system, and forecasting systems have been integrated into one comprehensive solution called information management system. The fourth type is engineering and scientific software. Such softwares are characterized by the scientific nature of the computation they perform. Examples of engineering and scientific software are MATLAB, AutoCAD, and Mathematica. MATLAB solves complex mathematical problems which would require enormous time if solved manually. The fifth one is the embedded software. Embedded software resides in the read-only memory which is commonly referred to as ROM. It can perform a variety of tasks ranging from watch display to electronic fuel injection system found in modern automobiles. Embedded software gives products an intelligent look. For example, mobile phone sets have many useful features like address book, messaging service, and games, etc. The sixth type is the personal computer software. Personal computer-based software is another prolific application domain. You will be familiar with word processing software, spreadsheets, multimedia will increase. The seventh is web-based software. Websites and web pages are examples of web-based software.